folk songs. They're eternal. They're pristine and timeless. They are as old as these panoramic mountains, perennial rivers and lush foliage. They are as old as the human consciousness itself. Ever since civilization began, there sprang in the human heart the need to sway to the rhythm of nature, to dance to the tune of whistling wind and gushing stream, to respond to the primeval urge to sing and express. Folk songs are about a community of people who seek relief from the monotony of daily chores by giving themselves up to the recreational act of singing and dancing. They are songs of the common people, by the common people, and for the common people. Folk songs are oral in nature, and its composers are anonymous. They are orally handed down from one generation to the next. Rooted in specific culture and milieu, they aggregate over time into a repository of that area's culture and history. Folk songs are inextricably connected with all aspects of life. There are birth songs, death songs, wedding songs, ceremonial songs, religious songs and songs that mark the seasonal cycle. Folk songs are different from other forms of music in that they are communal and participatory, spontaneous and improvised, and often require no formal training or practice. We, the team members of DCAC Innovative Project 102, have made an endeavor to trace the symphonies of life in nature and environment in the folk songs of Jammu and Kashmir and Punjab. We have adopted a two-pronged approach to our research into the folk songs of the tripartite regions. We held workshops with academicians who with their vast repertoire of knowledge provided us with the cultural and historical context for the three regions. And then we met actual practitioners of music, some eminent professional folk singers and others in the rural areas to whom folk songs come as naturally as leaves to trees. To these people, folk songs are deeply intertwined with past memories and help shape and define their cultural identities. Our first workshop was with Mrs. Deva, an eminent sing Dogri singer and a poet who expounded on the evolution of Dogri folk songs. She outlined some recurring light motifs. One such motif is a recurrent figure of soldier husband who leaves behind a distraught wife. Separation is one of the common binding themes of Dogri folk songs. तारी धुना पिया कंडिया पिया बरसाला तारी धुना पिया कंडिया पिया बरसाला हो तारी धुना पिया कंडिया पिया बरसाला तारी धुना पिया कंडिया पिया बरसाला तारी धुना पिया मैं तू की ठक्किया हा इपली निजाया तारा मैं तू की ठक्किया हा Mr. Sanjeev Kaul is a resident of Kashmir and a keen musician. He acquainted us with various genres of Kashmiri folk music, predominant among which are Rauf and Chakri. There is also a highly popular form of music called Ladisha, a kind of rhythmic monologue, often sarcastic in nature. So I'll just uh, sing a few lines on this Babaru Babaru. You must have heard this in that movie. So it goes like this. Bamburo, bamburo, shamarang bamburo, 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 shamarang bamburo. Kya jhuk yut na lano? Oh, 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 bamburo, bamburo, shamarang bamburo, 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 shamarang bamburo. Kya jhuk yut na lano? Our workshop in Kashmir was held with Dr. Majru Rashid, HOD, Kashmiri Language and Literature, Srinagar University. He gave us an invaluable perspective on Kashmiri literature and the culture of Kashmiriyat, which is essentially one of love, hospitality, respect for elders, celebration of the abundance of nature, and above all, celebration of peace and tranquility. 
डॉक्टर वनीता डॉक्टर रवेल सिंह डायरेक्टर पंजाबी एकेडमी एंड सिंगर मिस परमिता बोगल शिफ्टेड आवर फोकस टुवर्ड्स द फोक सॉन्ग्स ऑफ पंजाब अ फील्ड ट्रिप टू जम्मू ब्रॉट अस इनटू कांटेक्ट विद नोटेड डोगरी सिंगर्स पद्मश्री प्रद्युमन सिंह डॉक्टर कैलाश मेहरा एंड डॉक्टर रमा शर्मा प्रद्युमन सिंह एक्सपाउंडेड ऑन द ट्रेडिशन ऑफ भाग सिंगिंग व्हिच इज संग विदाउट एनी अकॉम्पनीमेंट ऑफ म्यूजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स डॉक्टर कैलाश मेहरा The Nightingale of Jammu sang Dogri and Kashmiri folk songs for us. Miss Rama, a noted singer, sensitizes us to the tradition of seasonal songs or Bara Mas in Dogri folk songs, which are replete with metaphors drawn from nature. Our field trip into the idyllic and serene valley of Kashmir enlightened us on many aspects of Kashmiri folk songs. Very interestingly, one of the singers pointed out that Carnatic music has its roots in Kashmir. and that sharam dev the creator of carnatic music was the first of kashmiri pandits to migrate south we found out to our surprise and satisfaction that kashmiri music is extremely secular in nature muslim shayars have composed bhajans and leela and hindu saints have written about muslim traditions sufiana mausiki is an integral tradition of kashmiri folk song which has today become very popular miss shazia hamid a local singer along with her mentor noted musician mr muzaffar bhat sang some devotional songs for us the team uncovered real gems of folk songs in the interiors of kashmir we interviewed the rural folk in villages like dudar pathar kech rajgir and ompura in the badgam district of kashmir for whom folk songs are a lived experience this is where we interacted with a 90 year old gentleman mr sona ullah bhat who recalled with perfect clarity folk songs associated with his youth and with important historical occurrences chola milavne yaar chale jaaya chale jaaya hasa has ke bolo chale jaaya hum hi kuch bolega chale jaaya very good imshram bahut acha bahut acha In another part of the place in its house, the women folk sang some songs for us from behind the parda. This is the house of Mr. Abdul Rahim Pal, aged 90 years, in village Ompura, where we met a household of women across all ages, including a 10-year-old Bisma, who sang folk songs for us. The older generation of the household recalled the communal nature of singing, how they gathered in the evenings to sing songs through improvisation. Sorry, tera naam bhool gaye. I'm very, very sorry, tera naam bhool gaye. Achha se te ho nam walga so gul marak, walga so gul marak, walga so gul marak. Tad gusham ek kam ek naam mai bhool gaye. I'm very, very sorry, tera naam bhool gaye. I'm very, very sorry, tera naam bhool gaye. This is STC BSF campus of Srinagar. where we met three generations of bsf officer gulam nabi wani's family they sang dilbar o and balai kasturi essentially wedding songs in which we can trace strong folk elements we randomly asked some residents of shrinagar to sing folk songs for us and they recalled with alacrity songs intimately connected with their lives through this research project we are trying to find out the exact definition of folk songs their origin genres themes types and various social occasions on which different folk songs are sung also our focus is on how the lyrics of these songs are inspired and influenced by environment and nature 
how these folk songs throw light on the lives of people what these songs reflect about various sections of society and how the complete life cycle is represented by these songs along with this we are also trying to discover how these songs vary from region to region how the environmental changes are affecting these folk songs how these ancient treasures prepare base for the modern day poets and writers to write and finally are the upcoming generations accepting these traditional melodies